This week, I want to compare my laptop from 2021. This is my MSI GP66 Leopard. I ended up picking this up in 2021 for $1,447. And what I got at the time was a 1440p screen, 165 hertz IPS panel. I got a 3070 GPU with eight gigabytes of VRAM. And I got a i7-11800H along with 16 gigabytes of DDR4 memory at 3200 megatransfers and a one terabyte SSD. So overall, I was very excited about this laptop when I purchased it. I thought it was a phenomenal value. And looking at what you can get for the same money in 2025, I purchased the Legion 5i for $1,439. So the price point difference after tax is only $8 between these two. So they're basically the exact same price. And we can see that we have pretty much upgrades across the board. So our CPU has become the Ultra 7 255HX processor. This has E cores now, the 11800H did not. It was the last CPU to not have E cores. We have a 5070 GPU, which unfortunately still has eight gigabytes of VRAM, even though it's been over four years since I purchased my last laptop but it still is a 70 series GPU. We have 16 gigabytes of DDR5 5600 instead of 3200 of DDR4, and we have a one terabyte SSD. And even the displays are pretty similar. They're both similar resolution and refresh rate, but the biggest difference is going to be that this one is OLED, which is a phenomenal upgrade over a IPS panel. Before we get into the benchmarks, I just wanted to let you guys know this isn't going to be a fair fight. My JP66 is from 2021. We got to cut it a little slack. So what I will be doing is I will be using Owner Disown's video on how to speed up your MSI laptop. And in this, he goes into the IMON tweak. And basically what that does is it allows you to fool your laptop into thinking that the CPU isn't running at full power when it actually is. So your CPU will be able to run at full power at the same time as the GPU is running at full power. And if you have enough cooling in your laptop, this is a phenomenal way to increase the performance of an older laptop. So basically it removes the need for dynamic boost with Nvidia because you're not prioritizing CPU resources for the GPU. The CPU and GPU will both be running at their full power the whole time. I've been running my laptop like this for over a year and haven't had any issues. So I wanna see how it performs compared to a modern laptop with the tweaks that I've done in the BIOS to give it an edge. So I'm gonna put these in a head to head. I'm gonna have four benchmarks focusing on GPUs 4K and then four benchmarks focusing on the CPUs at 1080p. And we're going to see what kind of performance uplift you can see from this upgrade. First up, we're going to do the 4K benchmarks. So we have Black Myth Wukong running at 4K with the medium preset, DLAA. And this game you can see just hammers both these GPUs, very low frame rates, but that's the point. We're trying to see what the differences are in heavily GPU limited areas. And 4K is definitely gonna do that in Black Myth Wukong. Ideally, if you're actually gonna play this game, you'd use DLSS performance and end up getting much better frame rates. But we can see that the 5070 definitely has the victory in Black Myth Wukong over the 3070. Next up is Forza Horizon 5. Again, we are running at 4K with the high preset, DLAA, no ray tracing on this one. And we can see that even the 0.1% lows of the Lenovo Legion 5i are exceeding the average FPS of the MSI GP66. So again, easy victory for the 5070 in the Legion 5i. And we are just definitely seeing the age on the 3070 GPU. Now we have GTA 5 enhanced and we can see at 4K high preset, DLAA, no ray tracing, that we have very competitive results. The 1% uh, and 0.1% lows are very close between both of these laptops and it's only in the average FPS that the 5070 laptop ends up seeing a bigger victory. So closest we've seen so far, but still 5070 is on top. Finally, in Cyberpunk 2077, using the built-in benchmark at 4K medium preset, we see the biggest win for the 5070. So in this game, we see 31% greater average FPS compared to the 3070 laptop. So nobody's surprised here. It's a clean sweep. The 5070 beat the 3070 in every single one of these games, but it's still good to look at the overall benchmark summary just to see how much performance we are gaining with a 5070 laptop over a 3070 laptop. When we take a look at the GPU benchmark summary, we end up seeing that the Lenovo Legion 5i with its 5070 GPU wins across the board. It ends up having 18.7% better average FPS, 17% better 1% lows, and 18.4% better 0.1% lows. And this makes sense. You know, it's a laptop from 2025. The MSI GP66 with its 3070 is from 2021. 
the fact that it's even holding up this well is surprising to me. And I think that's in big part due to Owner Disown's video of how to improve performance on your MSI laptop because we're able to get the full power out of the 3070 as well as our CPU. So let's take a look at the CPU benchmarks next, but remember, we are using the IMON tweak in the MSI BIOS, and that is removing the power limit on our CPU. So it's not gonna be an apples to apples comparison, but I'm excited to see the results. First up, we have Cyberpunk 2077 in Dogtown running 1080p medium preset. Again, we're doing this because now we wanna hammer the CPU more than the GPU, so these are all going to be focusing 1080p, and we are using DLLA, no ray tracing still. So we can see that the Lenovo Legion 5i ends up having 25% better average FPS and the Ultra 7 255HX is really stretching its legs in this one. But let's see if we can close the gap with Call of Duty Warzone. Here we see 11% better average FPS with the Legion 5i CPU versus the MSI GP66. And overall, again, still Lenovo is obviously going to win. It's a 2025 laptop that's mid-range and MSI GP66 is a 2021 laptop that was mid-range. But the fact that it's even holding in here in a game like Call of Duty Warzone is great to see in 2025. In Hogwarts Legacy at 1080p with the medium preset, we finally see the MSI GP66 pull out a win. It ends up having 33 FPS in the 0.1% lows versus the Legion 5's 31 FPS. This is the only time this happens, and it's fantastic to see the GP66 get a win even after four years. Finally, in Lords of the Fallen at 1080p with the high preset, we see the same trend we've seen throughout where the Lenovo Legion 5i with its Ultra 7 255HX is outperforming the MSI GP66 with its 11800H. But let's take a look at the benchmark summaries and see how everything shakes out. As we can see in the CPU benchmark summary, it's an easy win for the Legion 5i with the Ultra 7 255HX over the MSI GP66 with its 11800H. And we're seeing 17.4% better average FPS, 27.7% better 1% lows, and 20% 0.1% lows. But what I wanna do is take all of the data that I've collected across the GPU and CPU benchmarks, put it all together and come up with one number that represents how much better the Legion 5i is from the GP66. And I did this and it's 20%. So after four years, we get 20% better performance in a laptop. And this just isn't acceptable to me because I bought my GP66 in 2021 and we are getting the same amount of VRAM, the same amount of system RAM, the same amount of storage, basically the same resolution and refresh rate screen. And the only upgrades I care about are the fact that the screen's OLED and that I have 20% better performance. So I really regret this purchase. I highly recommend waiting until next year and trying to get a laptop that's within that $1,000 to $1,500 price point that actually has 12 gigabytes of VRAM. Next week, I'm going to be taking a look at the impacts of DLSS performance at 4K compared to 1080p native with the 5070 and the 3070 in these laptops. So I'm gonna see how much of a performance impact you get from enabling DLSS performance at 4K on both of these laptops. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next week.